the GOP and gay marriage, which was on a number of ballot initiatives in some states around the country. And my next guest to discuss that is Jimmy LaSalva of GO Proud. Uh, welcome, Jimmy. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, thanks for joining yes. us. Uh, now, this issue was on uh, four states. Uh, ballots, I believe, and um, the turnout or, or the, the the outcome, I should say, was somewhat different from what we've seen in the past. Correct? Yeah, I think that anybody who has followed this issue over the past number of years has has seen that the polling has been moving on on the issue of same-sex marriage, and and you know, I think that. We've all been talking about, well, when is it going to cross the line? And, and that happened on Tuesday. Uh, we've seen polls throughout this year that showed a majority of Americans, especially younger Americans, who support same-sex marriage. And so it was just a matter of time before that translated to uh, passing same-sex marriage uh, on, at the ballot box and in state legislatures. So just so we're clear, it, it passed in Maryland and Maine and it was on the ballot in two other states? What was the outcome there? Well, it, it passed in Maryland and Maine, and it just now uh, looks like it's going to pass in Washington. They were counting okay. the votes until just very recently. So it will pass to have same-sex marriage legal in those three states. And then in Minnesota, there was a question about whether to ban same-sex right. marriage in their constitution. Okay. And that constitutional amendment was rejected. Okay. Now, there's been a lot of talk uh, in the aftermath of Tuesday about the GOP coalition needing to retool, reform, expand. Um, is this an issue that could attract gay voters to the GOP? Well, I think that gay voters are certainly somebody who uh, is is a, a potential Republican voter. Uh, Mitt Romney lost from about four percent of the uh, of gay voters got four percent fewer of gay voters than John McCain did. But it's bigger than just that. It's young people and women. Uh, in Nevada, for instance, uh, Mitt Romney won every single age group except 18 to 29 and ended up losing Nevada. Yeah. And uh, an example I've said a, a number of times in the, the last couple of weeks is singer Kelly Clarkson, a single woman who uh, was asked while she was on her tour uh, who she was voting for. She said, well, I'm a Republican at heart, but I'll probably vote for Obama because I have a lot of gay friends. Right. And yeah. so I think yeah. that this is an issue that everyone is considering, and especially because everyone has gay friends and family. Okay. And we have about a minute left, but I wanted to ask you about this route, this ballot initiative route, versus the court route. And, and I guess the example there is how Roe v. Wade and the abortion issue was decided. And which route you think is preferable? Well, I think, I think that deciding this on a state-by-state -state basis is, of course, the preferable way in state legislatures and through our elective representatives and ballot measures, too. I think at the end of the day, though, there will be, like many other issues, a court ruling that brings the the remainder states over but uh, I think that discussing this on the state level is where marriage and family law should be determined and and that is uh, uh, the best way to, to deal with this issue 